Hi, everyone, and welcome to Studio Jake. I, of course, am your host, Jacob Airy. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe from whatever platform you're watching. I really appreciate it. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. New t um, kind of smaller uh, videographers and vidcasters like myself, we appreciate it when you do that. Please let us know how we're doing. Um, that would be awesome. And before I dive into the topic, just another reminder, I do write novels. I have three out right now. I've got Cacophony, A Tale of Faith and Fear. This is my very first novel. It tells the story of demons who are trying to take over a town and the angels that are sent to stop them. I also have a fantasy novel series. So these are the first two of a trilogy. The first one is The Seven Royals, All Good Things, which is followed by its sequel, The Seven Royals, Breaking the Stars. They are about some of your favorite fairy tale characters who are brought into this fantasy world, and they have to unite to restore their kingdoms from an evil, dark lord. It's fantastic stuff. If you're tired of people ruining your favorite properties like The Witcher or Lord of the Rings or Wheel of Time, definitely pick this up. You can get them on um, you can get all of these on Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com. However, if you want a digital download of Breaking the Stars, you do have to go to BookLocker.com, where also uh, All Good Things is available. So, normally, I don't comment um, on things. I'm just kidding. I comment on this stuff all the time. It just really grates me when um, Hollywood insiders uh, show sort of this elitist gatekeeping. Now, I'm all for, I used to be against gatekeeping. Um, I used to uh, think that it was really bad. It was done in poor taste. Nowadays, though, though, I do think we need some form of gatekeeping, especially if you look at stuff, how um, the DC films, Disney, Star Wars, uh, <laughs> Disney, Marvel has gone downhill. But I don't believe in this sort of elitist gatekeeping where it says, oh, you can't do this sort of thing or this new technique or whatever it is. I think personally that the fans in the market should decide. However, um, Quentin Tarantino, best, move, best known for making movies with a lot of blood in the N-word, um, he decided to chime in. He's writing this uh, new book and he's talking about some of his favorite movies that have come out. Um, I guess maybe he also dishes on his, um, his, uh, failed Star Trek, um, his failed Star Trek movie. Thank goodness that movie failed. Man, um, Star Trek is bad enough as it is. Could you imagine if a B-movie director who gets A budgets for some reason, like Quentin Tarantino, had gotten his hands on Star Trek? Ugh, shudder to think about it. So, a couple of weeks ago, and I didn't comment on it then because I'm not a Quentin Tarantino fan. I think his movies are overrated. Yes, flame me in the comments all you want to. I've thought this forever. I thought Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2 was terrible. Death Proof is atrocious film. But, now, to be fair, I did like, um, I did like, uh, Jackie Brown. I did like, uh, Inglorious Bastards. I thought those were both really good films. But, um, of, and granted, I haven't seen his entire catalog of movies. He hasn't done that many. The ones, I have seen the majority of it, and I think he's overrated. I think that, um, the, the films he produces are B films with A budgets and because they're very stylistic, people go, oh, kind of, kind of like Zack Snyder. Now to Quentin Tarantino's credit, again, I don't think he's a hack. Zack Snyder definitely is a hack. He just riffs off of the genius of others. And then when he gets called out for it, he throws a, he throws a panic attack. Quentin Tarantino is not a hack. I just don't think he's as good as people say he is. I think his... His sort of style is is what makes him unique, but I don't think that it's a good style. I don't like his movies. Now, um, d while he was talking about this book he wrote, I guess it's going to be called Cinema Speculation. Good for him. At least he has a little bit of... of uh, self-awareness there he said in an interview about it and this is coming from the av club that he will never make a marvel movie because he's not a hired hand and that comic book movies have a chokehold on the movie industry okay what a little baby okay this is the same thing we saw from martin scorsese from james cameron now martin scorsese at least is a brilliant filmmaker I've only seen one Martin Scorsese movie I did not like, and that was The Irishman. It was a terrible movie. It was awful. I don't care what anyone says. However, 
Cape Fear, even Silence, even for its anti-Christian overtones, still brilliant films, right? Goodfellas, Martin Scorsese, fantastic director. However, he also made similar comments. So did James Cameron. Now, he's a director who used to be good but has since lost his touch. I also think with, uh, and all, oh, Francis Ford Coppola is another example. Francis Ford Coppola doesn't need to be giving any advice on movies. The man peaked at Godfather Part Two, and he's never recovered from that peak. And now he hasn't made a film in decades, although I've heard he's making a new movie. He should stick to making mediocre wine for women who used to watch his movies. You know, that's that's where Francis Ford Coppola is. Like I said, James Cameron used to be a good film after Avatar. Don't know what happened to him. He just got stuck in another planet, pun intended. Um, like I said, Martin Scorsese, brilliant filmmaker. So this is not a statement on their talent itself, but they've all, they, Tarantino is now joining these good fellows in this sort of narcissistic elitism. Oh, how I make movies is better, but because Marvel, they appeal to sort of people's nostalgia and they, and they're like roller coasters. Oh, that's why, oh, it's ruining cinema. <laughs> no, these guys are just bet bitter, old men who are upset that they're not making movies that have mass broad appeal like marvel films do now i should say like marvel films used to um phase five has not impressed me but if you go back so keep in mind when i'm talking about mcu i'm talking about it at its peak the first iron man um the first avengers film you know stuff like that good good films so the first doctor strange movie i'm appealing to I, I'm, I'm talking about that but as far as this, who this, who gave Tarantino, Scorsese, Cameron, Coppola, and their cohorts who are who are jumping in to this comment uh, to to cinema like this? They're they're making these comments. Who decided that their opinion mattered more? Listen, they've made really good films. They've done a great job, and uh, you know at least with Tarantino twice. But everyone else. Um, why why does why should we care what they think quite frankly like i'm happy that if they want to talk about techniques and i don't like this kind but to just throw an entire genre some people you know like to insult people like me who like these films you know you like cape films yes so what i don't care what you think i you might like tarantino movies and don't like cape films whatever i like superhero movies it's a great subgenre of the sci-fi uh, of the sci-fi genre. I think it's fantastic. I think superheroes are our modern myths. Um, so, yes, I do appreciate that, um, that, and yes, I'm a fan of it, and I will defend it, and I will gatekeep it, and I will guard it. But with these guys, who, who, deci who, who decided that they get, like, a big say in all of this? No one. So, I, people need to stop panicking when they say stuff like this. Martin Scorsese, I know he wrote like this New York op-ed. I read it. It was just basically him saying, please love me. That was basically, everyone does love him. You know, he doesn't need to be insulting to people. Neither does Tarantino. And speaking, going back to him, he doubled down even more, but he decided to make it a lot more personal. And this is why I decided to comment on it. Now, he says, uh, and this is according to um, the Hollywood Report um, reporter, I don't love them. No, I don't. I don't hate them, but I don't love them. See, already backtracking because he got blowback for insulting his peers. I mean, look, I used to collect Marvel comics like crazy. When I was a kid, there's a subtle insult. Clearly, he didn't. There's an aspect that if these movies were coming out when I was in my 20s, I would totally be effing happy and totally love them, but... They wouldn't be the only movies being made. They would be amongst movies amongst other movies. I'm almost 60, so I'm not quite as excited about them. Wah, wah, wah. They're not the only movies coming out. Have you not checked Amazon Prime? Are you too are you too much of a moron to log on to Netflix? Movies are being made. Again, the reason the MCU, again, prior to Phase 5, was so popular was because it had like a broad mass appeal. Tarantino doesn't make films for a broad audience. He makes it for a very specific audience. Same with Scorsese. I do wish pe more people would watch Scorsese films. He used to make films that have broad audiences, but as he continues to do movies 
um, you know, and he also does a very specific genre. You know, uh, he likes very tortured protagonists. Nothing wrong with that. Good for him. Like I said, he's great at it. But you know, it's very, uh, it, it's very, it's very small. And um, one of the things he said in this article, again, the Hollywood Reporter, part of the marvelization of Hollywood not happening is you have all these actors who have become famous playing these characters but they're not movie stars right captain america is the star thor is the star i'm not the first person to say that yes you are or i should say maybe he's right about that but more on other morons i think that's been a, a said a zillion times but it's these franchise characters become a star okay again so what who cares you could say the same thing about Indiana Jones. You could say the same thing about even the OG Star Wars. Of course, the actor is taking on a role. No, you know what destroyed the movie star? People like Quentin Tarantino, where it became more about the violence and the gore and the special effects. And again, there are some Marvel movies that embody this. I'm not saying that it's exclusively Tarantino. Um, people, people like him destroyed the movie star. He, when, he doesn't put on movies. I know he likes to, to cast Samuel Jackson in all of his movies. So could you could you make that case about Tarantino that it's not really about Samuel L. Jackson starring in the movies? It's about the role he's playing? Yeah, duh. Of course you could. It's so stupid. And of course he got um, some pushback. I think Anthony Mackie and Sima Liu, which of course Anthony Mackie plays the Falcon and Falcon and the Winter Soldier and as well as... Um, uh, Avengers um, Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. I think Anthony Mackie is a, is a fantastic Falcon, by the way. Uh, Sima Liu, who, who portrays Shang-Chi, he also fired back. And good for them for defending these films. Good for them. Um, last time around when Scorsese compared them to roller coasters, Chris Evans and uh, Samuel L. Jackson and Scarlett Johansson and several others also defended the movies. I hope they join in too uh, when, when these elitist jealous bitter uh movie stars well then well then what does he say oh you know now first he said oh i'm not going to do that because i'm not a hired i'm not a hired hand i'm not going to do that uh, i'm not looking for a job yeah i know because you and holly every whatever all of you in hollywood you definitely would um um, you definitely don't know what it's like to have a real job. I will I will agree with you on that, Quentin Tarantino. But then he chimes in and says, Oh, but well, you know, I would make Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos. What a freaking hypocrite. James Cameron was all set to, to launch the original version of the MCU. He was supposed to direct... Um, Spider-Man before Sam Raimi. It was going to be a much darker Spider-Man in tone, which is why they didn't really want to go with his vision. Uh, hypocrite. Martin Scorsese pretty much makes um, you know movies about these tortured protagonists, makes a whole bunch of gangster movies. You know, fine. Like I said, brilliant filmmaker. James Cameron used to be a brilliant filmmaker. And um, Tarantino. Oh, but you know, if if I was to, <laughs> I would do <coughs> Sergeant <Sergeant> Fury. <coughs> And his Howling Commandos. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course he would. He he loves to do alternate history takes like he did with Inglorious Bastards and other such movies. But you know, I th I just think it's so funny and hypocritical. Well, no, I would never do that. I don't want a job. I don't want to have a real job. I don't want to work. I'm not a hired hand. But I would do Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos. <laughs> what? What is that? That is so funny to me. And also, we also find out he was really just promoting a book and a TV show that he's doing. He actually, that's the only reason, because he knew um, from Martin Scorsese's elitism and James Cameron's and Fra uh, Francis Ford Coppola's, from all their elitist um, gatekeeping, these would be the guys who would say, I don't want to do the talkies. I'm going to stick with silent films. Oh, I don't want to colorize my my films. I'm going to keep them black and white. That's what, those, that's what those guys are for this new kind of style that was introduced by the MCU, sort of these broader universe franchises. It's a new way of telling a story, and I think it's fantastic. The MCU was innovative, and these guys who are gatekeeping innovation, that's what I don't like. I like it. Now, if Quentin Tarantino was saying, um, listen, I like my movies better, I like my style of filmmaking better, fine. 
you know, he's open to his criticism. He's allowed to say what he wants to say. That's not what bo- what's bothering me. It's this put down. It's this condensation from these elitist Hollywood um, insiders. You know, Quentin Tarantino was friends with Harvey Weinstein. I bet you didn't know that. Where was he when Harvey Weinstein was being was being uh, accused? Of course, he hid for a little bit and threw him under a bus, like Ashley Judd did. But but no, we're going to go with this sort of um, idea that someone who um, who was tied to Harvey Weinstein is going to tell me is going to condescend to me about Marvel films and condescend to several of the great actors. Now, a lot of these actors who are in these Marvel films, they are insufferable in real life. Whatever, you know, I, I get it. You know, they have their weird political leanings, good for them, you know, whatever. Again, free country, they can believe what they want to believe and, and whatnot. And I can criticize them. I'm happy to criticize them. I do it all the time, especially on social media. But I'm not going to sit back and let Quentin Tarantino tell me how I should feel about Cape films, as his, as one fan commented. So I actually retweeted the Pirates and Princesses article, and I said, LOL, Quentin Tarantino pretends to be a Hollywood gatekeeper like the ones who didn't want the talkies by crapping, all, by crapping over Marvel films and making fun of the actors. Now he wants to make one. What a hypocritical liar, along with Scorsese, Cameron, and Coppola. And, you know, that's my honest, uh, that's my honest take on it. You know, maybe you think, um, um, maybe you think, uh, maybe you think that I'm overreacting this. Fine, maybe I am, but it is something I'm passionate about. It's the type of storytelling I like, and I'm going to defend it. And that's all there is to it. If you liked that video, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Give it a thumbs up. And I would be honored today if you would subscribe. No matter what platform you're watching on, please subscribe. Hit that follow button. Share it out all over the place. And check me out on some of my other socials. I've got links in the in the description below. Also, check out my website, studiojakemedia.com, and consider supporting this channel on studiojakemedia.locals. It really helps uh, smaller creators out. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time right here on Studio Jake.